What is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers, bringing you another, uh, I guess, the next video. Uh, what is this series even called? Basically, it's like, why would this character make sense to be in Smash Bros. Ultimate? So we just did one uh, a couple days ago with Crash Bandicoot, and uh, the video was seemed to be received pretty well, so I'm happy to do uh, more of these. And uh, today's character that we will be going over is Doom Slayer. Doom Slayer from the Doom series, you know, the Doom franchise. So uh, pretty much if you've seen the first one, you kind of get a gist of how this will go. Go over a quick little backstory, uh, and then we'll kind of break down the character, uh, move sets, what other DLC we could see from the franchise in Smash Bros, and just all sorts of uh, interesting little facts as well. So with that out of the way, I say we jump into Doom Slayer, Doom Marine, the Slayer, whatever you want to call him. Let's jump into it. So first up, we're going to talk a little bit of background. A little bit of background here. Ah, so, Doom, the franchise, it was released way back during the Super Nintendo days. So early 90s, you know, maybe mid 90s. Um, that's when uh, the Doom franchise first came around. And so, I mean, if you think about it, Doom franchise, it's been around for 20 plus years at this point. And there, it has such a very big following. It's it's gar. It's really honestly a lot of people uh, really think it's one of the better, you know, all time franchises uh, in gaming. Not just uh, in, not just in terms of its name, but you know the the genre that it represents, the first person shooter. And that is a, something that I will get into in just a little bit as well. But you know, first person shooters and Smash Bros, which sounds weird, but I'll get to a point, but basically, anyway, uh, yeah, Doom's been around for 20 plus years, uh, the fun, the, uh, the whole gist of the first game, um, the idea of it was that the player, us, we would take on the role of the Marines, and we are fighting an invasion, uh, from Hell's demons and creatures and sort of stuff like that, so, uh, it was kind of a fun little thing, it's kind of a, you know, really wasn't, you know, targeted for kids is a little bit more for the uh, the mature audi audiences back then and uh, still is today uh, with you know blood and gore and all sorts of stuff like that now is blood and gore really smash bros you know is that a cup of tea no not not it not at all not at all but uh, you can always tone down a mature character to fit the smash bros style while still having them feel like themselves so uh, and I mean, Doom is a really that that's one blood and guts. That's really I mean the rip ripping and tearing. Am I right? <laughs> that's something that that's what the franchise is. So ha seeing something like that would definitely be maybe a little bit off putting for some people. It's just it doesn't fit the style, but I still feel you can make them fit in a way. Plus, I mean, it's an iconic franchise, and isn't this sort of like? Uh, you know, Smash Ultimate is a fan service game after all, and Doom is one of the, you know, most recognized franchises of all time, so maybe it could happen. I don't know. Let's move on to the next one, though. Um, so, a uh, quick little fact. Doom Guy, as a lot of people do call him, Doom Guy is actually his name, that was made up by the fans. That's not the actual character's name. So, uh, Doom Guy's actual name that he gets referred to is either the Marine Doom Slayer, or even The Slayer. So, yep, Doom Guy is an actual name uh, that is made up by the fans. Uh, the Doom series is one of the most well-recognized franchises that is still going to this day. They just had a recent reboot uh, back in, what, 2016, so a few years ago. And, what, Doom Eternal is actually coming out a little bit... Is that coming out later this year on the Switch? Or if it's already on the Switch, I don't remember. But um, that it's a big thing, so... I'll get to that in a second as well. But the series is actually, and this is what I was talking about earlier when I said I wanted to touch on uh, first-person shooters in Smash Bros. The series is actually consolidated, you know, the first-person genre. It's it's garnered as one of the top first-person, you know, one of the, the series that really paved the way for first-person shooters. Uh, at the time, it was kind of like... It's, it was just something completely different that we really didn't see, and it just took you know gaming in a whole different direction, and it was really paved the way for a lot of games that you see today. Maybe not again, not the 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 matureness to the 
to the I guess to the games today, but it, first person shooters can definitely thank Doom for well that being a genre in gaming today. So yeah, and plus the first person shooter, it's a genre that is not represented in Smash Bros. Not saying that it has to be represented, but you know, it'd be interesting take on how a character, you know, from a you know FPS series could end up actually fitting into Smash Bros. So, uh, yeah, it uh, could have like a really weird mix up and match, uh, you know, mix and match, not mix and match, but like just a weird mashup of styles. And that's what you, that's what we have in Smash Bros. And isn't that what's uh, so great about Smash Bros? All these different characters from all these different universes coming together and, well, fighting it out. So, yeah, um, let's keep on moving on here. So, okay, now this is, this is a fun part to think of. Anytime you talk about a new character, uh, potentially, you got to bring up what their move set could be. You know, so for potential move set for Doom Slayer, it does have a wide range of attacks and weapons at his disposal, including things. Um, I mean, like if you just want to bring up a bunch of, I suppose, if you if Doom Slayer is going to be in the game, Doom Slayer is going to have a ton of weapons. Let's face it, there's going to be guns, there's going to be explosives, there's going to be all sorts of things. So. Things such as, uh, I think, if you're going to go Doom Slayer, you probably have to tweak it a little bit for not so much of the realistic bullets, but maybe some uh, sort of better fitting weapons. And by that, I mean potentially the plasma rifle. I think that would fit much better in the Smash Bros. style. Of course, uh, you do have the super shotgun, and I think that would be a pretty cool little, like, quick little pop pop you know pop pop you know real quick just a two shot shotgun super shotgun i think that makes sense again that's realistic bullets but i'm not trying to rely too heavily on the realistic bullets so you also have things like a chainsaw now you're like wait a minute chainsaw and smash bros no one's gonna just get cut up by a chainsaw no they're not they're not what i mean by having a chainsaw in the move set if anybody played uh playstation all-stars and you played sweet tooth Sweet Tooth had a chainsaw in his moveset. So basically, Sweet Tooth uh, would pull out this chainsaw and then just spin in a circle, 360. So basically, if you get hit by the, the edge or the tip of the chainsaw, you just kind of take a little bit of knockback. Obviously, you're not going to get ripped and teared apart. That's not going to happen. Not in Smash Bros. at least. So you could do something very similar to that. Maybe it just kind of like spins around in a circle with the chainsaw. And if you get hit by it, like, there, you just take a little bit of knockback. So chainsaw, easy. Uh, chain gun, that's another one. Got to go with some chain gun, yes. I think I, th I still think chain gun can fit uh, Smash Bros. style uh, a little bit better than uh, most realistic weapons. So you got that. Uh, another weapon that I think would fit very perfectly is, I believe it's the gauze cannon if i pronounced that correctly i'm pretty sure i did but the gauze cannon uh would make a very interesting sort of uh, uh i don't know if you wanted to do that for like a side special or whatever it might be but you could do some interesting things with that and uh real quick got to touch on the final smash because this one just fits to a t um the bfg and if you don't know what that stands for it's the big freaking gun and i it's not actually freaking, but yeah, you guys know where I'm going with that. So the BFG 9000 or the BFG, whatever you want to call it, perfect fit for a Final Smash. Basically, it shoots out like these, uh, aren't they like energy balls? I think that's what they actually are. So, so, I mean, that fits Smash style, right? Uh, perfect. Boom. BFG, you got, you got a... You got that ready to go. And plus, of course, you can always throw in some maybe like a rocket launcher or grenades or something uh, that still fits the Doom style. And I still think it can work in Smash Bros. I mean, after all, Snake's got a rocket launcher. He's got grenades, so something like that. It's already in the game, so you know it can work. You know it can work. So there's a little bit of a rundown for potential moveset. So let's continue on here. Now, I got a couple interesting facts. And if I remember, hopefully I should. If I don't... Just let me know and I'll give you the links. But I should put the links to these two references down in the uh, description. So check them out if you haven't seen them before. So first uh, little interesting fact. Nintendo and Bethesda have talked about Super Smash Brothers in the past. Now that's actually pretty big. That's pretty big. And why is that big? Um, going by a quote... That Reggie Fils-Aimé said, I believe he said it 
uh, towards the end of 2018 around the Game Awards, somewhere around that time frame, Reggie said that no one has ever turned down an offer for Smash Bros. Now that is huge. So we do know that Nintendo and Bethesda have talked Smash Bros., but to what extent, we are unsure. So that could potentially mean they just said, hey, you know, Smash Bros, or I don't know, maybe Bethesda brought up Smash Bros, and they're like, hey, maybe someday we could get, uh, you know, one of our characters in there. And I'm not talking just Doom, but Bethesda is a company. You know, they got Fallout, they got all sorts of, uh, they got Skyrim, well, not just Skyrim, but the Elder Scrolls series. They have so many big-time series that they could actually pull from. So we don't know how that conversation went. We don't know what franchises they could have potentially talked about. But if they did, Doom probably has to be on there. I mean, it's been around for a long time. So, uh, yeah, could have been a good talking point. So we just depends on uh, if Nintendo actually made an offer. And if they did, and Reggie wasn't lying, which I don't think he would have been, uh, maybe, maybe we do get a Bethesda, or maybe we do get Doom, who knows. Uh, but another interesting fact is, uh, just recently, uh, at QuakeCon 2019, the Doom creators were doing an interview, and somebody asked them a question, I think about, uh, Mortal Kombat, if I'm not mistaken, and again, link to this video will be in the description as well, so check it out. Uh, should be around the eight minute mark in that video. But basically somebody asked him about Mortal Kombat. And the Doom creators, for some reason, decided to name drop Smash Bros. And a couple of the people at the table, you know, they kind of looked at each other and they kind of got a little antsy. And it was just kind of like, wait a minute, why did you just randomly name drop Smash Bros. of all things when somebody asked you a question about Mortal Kombat? Like, what's up with that? What's going on there? You guys uh, know something and uh, you're trying to hint at it, but you, you're you not? Or is it just completely, you know, off the wall randomness? Who knows? We don't know. But uh, yeah, that certainly stirred up a lot of speculation recently. So a couple of interesting facts right there. So uh, moving on now. Uh, we got to talk about the other potential DLC that we could see. So again... DLC, the fighter pass, the fighter pack, the individual one, we, all, we know you get the character, you'll get a stage, and you will get uh, music tracks. Now, what could we see in terms of, uh, I guess, let's let's start spirits, right? So we already know that, uh, you know, for Persona, they got spirits, uh, Dragon Quest got spirits, Banjo most likely should get spirits, and then, of course, so on and so forth. For the rest of the DLC, they should get their own series exclusive DLC spirits. So, what exact? How many? We're we're unsure. Uh, Persona ended up getting eleven. Dragon Quest only got seven. So maybe uh, they don't even get a full page. And by full page, I mean eight spirits. So just a couple that pop up. That uh, Cyber? Really? I did. Wow. Come on. If I'm gonna write these down, can I at least spell them properly? Anyway, the spirits that I think of. Uh, that would come to mind would that could be pretty fun would be a cyber demon uh, I think that'd be pretty cool actually um, you got pinky the demon which uh, come on that's just like a classic iconic uh, enemy in doom gotta have that uh, you could have an imp uh, potentially you know the way I think of it you could have like a bunch of little mini Mario shooting fireballs all over the place and they just kind of you know, retreat and, you know, they don't try to get involved in the fight. They just basically shoot fireballs everywhere. Something like that could kind of be cool. And then, I mean, BFG, the weapon, like I said, for the final smash, uh, it's practically regarded as one of the, if not the most powerful weapon in the game. So why not have a spirit, uh, that, you know, is dedicated to that. So just a few things that popped into my head. Uh, when we're gonna talk, when you talk characters as well, you gotta talk potential alternate skins, and I think you gotta have some sort of throwback to the original design character from Doom One. I think, uh, isn't it like the sleeves are? Uh, he's got like short sleeves, uh, something like that. So you gotta, you gotta do something like that. I think it'd just be a really cool. I guess, is it like an homage to the original? I, you know, just pay a little bit respect. I can see them honestly doing that, which would be pretty cool. So there's that to think of. And then potentially for a stage, the thing that I thought of was like Tower of Babel, but it's 
it'd be pretty much like a flat stage. And that's pretty much what we've gotten so far with the two first two DLC stages. They're pretty much just flat. So yeah, we might have a platform that comes in here and there and for like the Dragon Quest stage. And then uh, with the Persona, you got like the roof and the walls on the sides. They kind of like move in and stuff like that. So pretty much flat, like a fi not Final Destination, but like a Battlefield type stage. So uh, for Doom, I think this could be the same thing. But you could have like a bunch of... Uh, uh, fire towers and you know it would shoot flames up and obviously you get hit by the flames uh, it causes damage and stuff like that so and you know the the background would be like a a red reddish sort of sky in color uh, you know just it, it's doom you, you get it like the little picture on here you see the background that's kind of how I envision the background of that stage would look would be really cool and then you know fire just coming up here and there all over the place that'd be fun too and then, of course, talk a couple music tracks, a few that you probably have to have, at least in my opinion. Uh, at Doom's Gate, that why not? I mean, come on, you, that's one of the that's one of the more iconic ones, at least I believe so. Uh, another one, Rip and Tear, come on, that that fits perfectly. And Flesh and Metal, those are just a couple that come to mind. And I believe one of the composers actually is said to be working on a secret doom project uh, doom whatever and some people are thinking all right the composer is working on a few remixes for the smash game to get some of these songs in there so potentially it could be a secret uh, little job that they're working on who knows but uh yeah um otherwise that's pretty much all i have so let me know what you guys think about doom slayer doom marine the slayer whatever you want to call them let me know what you guys think about the character and if you do want the character in Smash Bros. as DLC or even if you think the character is likely. But uh, that's just what I kind of got for today. Uh, let me know if you guys still enjoy this because this, these are kind of uh, fun to do. Just kind of dive into a character a little bit and what they could potentially bring with them into Smash Bros. So I have fun with it. I hope you guys did too. That's pretty much all I got. So yeah, hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out everybody.